So in this video, we're going to be doing another repair on these motor actuators for these electric couches. Um, here's the symptoms you're going to see. When you go to raise the, the leg, it makes that clicky, clicky, clicky noise, but it won't work when you go backwards. If you go backwards, it goes just fine. So it's just when it's extending that it makes that noise, and you'll see why after I get it done. We have that same motor, it's on all these couches here, so there's four of them total. I've already done this on three of them now. So this is the fourth failure now. I'm gonna go into how to take this thing apart. Okay, we've unplugged the couch and tipped it over. And this is the actuator we're gonna be removing here. And as you can see, the power comes up, comes to this line right here, comes through, comes through, and here's the connector here. And it's being powered from this this box here and that's where the main power comes in so when you unpower it you can either disconnect it here at this connector here or disconnect it right on the actuator itself um, we're probably going to disconnect it there and then loosen those two tie wraps as far as the mechanicals that are holding it in there's a bolt here a bolt here and then there's where this arm is there's two bolts and on this side there's two bolts so there's four bolts you have to remove here plus these two is six and then the whole thing just slides out and uh, That'll be it. All right, so here's the actuator. Um, here's the four bolts I was talking about. Here's the two on this end. And this piece here just slides into there. There's no, no, no connectors to it. Um, we did have to remove, or we, I, did have to remove the uh, connectors because there's this right here, which is coming from the switch. So that plug, you have to take that plug out of here and then the actuator itself is free and we're free to work on it. Okay, so we brought the actuator over on the table. What you're going to need to do for this part is, if the label comes all the way across, you've got to peel the label back so it's past this seam right here. There's a seam that goes around it. And then all these screws are going to have to come off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven big screws. And then there's one small one here that the cord was wrapped around. And this one has to come off and then this part will come off. Uh, I think there may even be a screw underneath there, so we'll see how many big ones, but all the big ones have to come off, and the little one has to come off, and then this side is going to come off, just like that. Okay, we're back. Um, what I did was I took the cover off. As you can see, there's eight screws that had to come off, plus the little one here for the wrap around. Took that off, and you have to peel back the label, and as you can see, it's a beta drive made by Oaken, which is a Phoenix Meccano company, um, which is important later. So you flip this up, and then here's, here's what's actually going on within this. This is spring right here, which is this spring here. This spring's here. What happens is it's curled around like this, but see this hook? What happens is over time it breaks away like this. So this piece ends up getting stuck. There's a hole in there. It gets ends up stuck with a hole. And then this piece is still wrapped to the screw part. So when you turn the motor, this part spins around and around. And it's this part right here that makes that tick, 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 tick noise. And if you look at it, what it's doing is it's actually cutting. Oh, let me get the flash slide here. See right here, it's actually cutting into the plastic. And it does all this black stuff is, is the plastic that every time that, that spring wrapped around and it hit it, it made that noise. And if you look right there, there's the piece of that spring that's broken off. So what you have to do now is take this spring off. And the thing will operate just fine without the spring. And, and, but if you look here, we have four couches now. And here's three springs plus this one here means four springs have all failed on this thing. So it's a complete failure of this, of this spring. And uh, I've contacted the company. I've contacted Oaken. And Oaken says that they don't deal with customers and it's not their responsibility and you shouldn't be going into this to get this spring out of here. They want you to replace the whole part. The whole part is $180 to $200. And then uh, they tell you you need to contact the people you bought it from. You contact the people you bought it from and they won't tell you anything about the spring either. Like I said, they'll, they'll want to sell you the whole thing. So it, this is way cheaper than $200 and, and easier. So next thing we have to do is take this spring off here and I'll show you how to do that. So, okay, so once you get the screws out, all these screws here, once you take the whole cover off right there, you'll see those Allen wrench down there, the screws there, but you don't need to take those off. All you need to do is lift it up slightly. And now that you've got it lifted, then this assembly will just come off, but you have to unscrew it. 
and this is a big long screw that goes all the way to the end so you just start unscrewing it and as you can see there there's that end right there that keeps spinning around and as it does it whacks that case and that's what we're going to take off as a spring so just lift it up just enough unscrew it anyway this thing is going to unscrew off into my hand and I'll just take this spring and just move it and it comes right off the end of it and that's it as you can see the screw is off here this thing's pretty long all I did was unscrew the whole thing and then here's the spring right here and if you just loosen the spring the spring will just come off it comes off you slide down the other end you added it to your collection and then you'll need some pliers and then you're going to take that little piece out Okay, that's the piece that came out there, and you're ready to put everything back. So you're going to take the spring, screw it back in, uh, clean up all this plastic, just use compressed air to blow it out, um, put the cover back on, and reinstall it again. Okay, the reason I'm doing this video is, like I said, because of this of this repeated failure. And if, if we can, uh, you know, it's just easier to, re to remove the spring than it is to buy a whole new one, because it's just way too expensive. This is ridiculous. All right, it's back together. Uh, the motor's installed. The couch is flipped back over again. A little hop test and no noise. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.